As many of you are now aware, Cuba has come out with its own operating system based on a Linux variant called Gen 2. Uh, this, the, the Gen 2 is more popular among the more technically skilled users. The operating system has been de in development since 2007 and has recently been released to the public. First, I'd like to make the point that this is the new operating system for home PCs in Cuba and government buildings. Uh, but for home PCs, you know, proof uh, that the right-wing claim of PC ownership Cuba and the illegal is untrue. It's been a long-standing lie in the uh, bourgeois propaganda that's been spouting about Cuba. Uh, if the right wing was so sure Cuban citizens were being deprived of PCs, then they'd stop blocking shipments of donated PCs to Cuba like they did in July of this year in Texas. According to ComputerWorld.com, it's a source-based distribution, meaning the Gen 2 operating system is downloaded and compiled on each individual computer. Now, that can offer performance benefits for enthusiasts, although it may be complicated for less technical users. Now, the Venezuelan government has already been moving uh, its ministries off of Windows and opting for Linux and open source software. It's also been reported that they are creating a state-owned computer manufacturing firm that will produce Bolivarian computers running Linux. Uh, capitalist China is already running its own government-supported version of Linux called Red Flag. Creating this operating system was a good move. So far, Cuba has uh, Windows, like most of the world does. There's an inherent danger using a corporate-owned system like Windows. There's a risk that malicious code would be written in to damage the computer systems in Cuba. Uh, no doubt intend to just disrupt Cuban systems and then go into the media and claim that Cuban social systems don't work. The tactic they use since the beginning of the embargo would deliberately create shortages and then criticize Cuba for having shortages. Now, the Cuban people have a right to want to have their own operating system to keep information safe and not have it sabotaged by state terrorism coming from the U.S. Hector Rodriguez, the Dean of School for Free Software at Cuba's University of Information Sciences, said, I would like to think that in five years our country will have more than 50% uh, migrated to Linux. Uh, for those of you, there are, there's a three-minute demo of the system on YouTube.